change. The world is all about change. And the way you handle it. We are viceroys, elite settlers serving the Scorched Queen. Our job is to establish colonies and gather precious resources. Every settlement we build is governed by its own rules. There's no single path to prosperity. Some succeed by winning people's hearts. Some by serving the crown. Others by venturing bravely into the unknown. Our decisions shape people's futures. The blueprints we choose lay the foundations of the town's economy. We adapt to changing conditions and do whatever it takes to survive. We head out into the far corners of the continent in search of treasures that our queen desires so badly. We tread new paths and push ourselves through rivalry. The lands we settle on hold many mysteries. You never know what lies beyond the mist. The only thing certain is the storm. Embrace the change and build back from the storm. You're a viceroy after all. But beware, everything comes at a price. Good, dear strategy fans. Welcome to Against the Storm. We have over here the one and only, the amazing Lukash, who's working on it with, uh, I think the best way would be to introduce yourself and uh, tell us what is Against the Storm. Okay, sure. So uh, my name is Lukash, as you already mentioned, and I'm one of the uh, five-person team, uh, Aramite Games. We're from Poland, Wrocław. I do mostly marketing and community stuff, but also with me, uh, there's our graphic designer, game designer, programmer, and um, producer. So, uh, and we are also sometimes joined by Mikawai, who is doing uh, the amazing soundtrack for the game. So like five people working full time and, and one also uh, helping us after hours, hopefully uh, he will be able to join us one day as well. Um, yeah, so the company was uh, created one and a half year ago, like properly, uh, we we went to the office and, you know, registered our company. Uh, before um, the core team was working on the game on Against the Storm after hours. And so Against the Storm, um, it's a roguelite city builder set in a fantasy world in which it never stops raining. You, <laughs> the player, are the Scorched Queen's Viceroy and you manage a population of uh, beavers, lizards, humans, and harpies, up to three uh, in each game. Um, okay. So you need to pick. And basically, what you do in the game is you choose a lot. Like, it's a roguelite city builder. And um, as our typical game takes less than in, I don't know, city skylines, because you usually yeah. are able to finish one against the storm game in like, one hour or a little longer uh, we recently increased the number of reputation points needed so um it would easily become boring if you were doing the same thing all the time um so we put a lot of effort to make the game as replayable as possible so 
you know, you make a lot of choices every time. Like you start a single game and, you know, first you pick a biome. Biomes have different resources, uh, different uh, unique mm -hmm. mechanics. You also pick which villagers you want to bring with you on your expedition. And so each type, each species has different needs, different specializations. So it all differs. And, you know, you pick starting bonuses, which are also limited. So you make a lot of a lot of choices before you even start a proper game. Then you get to pick blueprints, building, uh, building blueprints, perks. Mm, you know, there's a lot of procedural generation on glades, like you never know what you will find in the woods. So in and other words, so RNGesus Jesus is very strong in against the story. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I think that's something uh, people like about our game. So one of the recent um, really good. opinions, one of the recent opinions was that uh, players don't really want to have that much agency because if you are able to pick your own conditions, the game quickly becomes repetitive because you know how to approach, you know, you, you set your own challenges, which is fine. And we also make you pick your orders for each game. So this is fine, but too much player agency could lead to, you know, um, it's not really what we are looking for. It's a boring so, repetitiveness, uh, so, so to say. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So Against the Storm is about playing the hand you're dealt. Like you find mm -hmm. particular resources, you get particular um, perk choices, and you try to make the best out of what you have at hand. And I believe this is this is what's most exciting about Against the Storm. That is what is most exciting. I can't wait to to show Chad after our talk uh, how unique and interesting each run of your little city building is going. And uh, it's just different every time you play it. Even though you have, I'm, I mean, the same buildings, the same kind of build up, but it's it's in its core so diverse and so different. Other perks, other boons are hitting you. You have to adapt to what is what is coming uh, at you. And uh, talking of, of characters and diversion, how did you guys come up with the idea of making beavers, humans, harpies? What was the inspiration there behind um, going into that theme? Let's call it the theme with your yeah. people. So it all started with an idea that we'll make a uh, roguelite RPG game, you know, because we as a proper indie studio you need to start big with RPG, hopefully MMO RPG. And so we as RPG fans also wanted to make an RPG game. And um, we we believe that we can make a roguelite RPG. Uh, so we started thinking about setting for the game. Um, mm -hmm. And um, we, there was one, one interesting, um, like a tip for writers or world builders that if you want to create a new world and you struggle with um, figuring out um, mm -hmm. how to uh, how to approach it, you you want you you may try to take the real world and alter one thing. And so we tried it with different motives. And for us, what worked best, or we figured would work best, would be to make the world in which it never in which it never stops raining. And so it influenced all the concepts. Like um, we had um, warriors who were pots on their heads, or vox, or you know, various, or they ha had hammers with iron, or with uh, you know, like the thing you use for ironing. Yeah, mm -hmm. iron. Yeah, and yeah. So, and we also designed buildings with a lot of rain pipes, um, pots, and things like that and, and it all looked great and we fell in love with this world but then we decided that maybe it's not the best idea to to make an rpg game uh it's being, it being a five person <laughs> team and as uh, at the at the time it was not even five people and less and working after hours so we the, the team decided to switch to roguelite city builder mm -hmm. and we, we we kept the roguelite uh, the Mm, rain punk uh, theme and uh, rain punk the, a bit. yeah so the species um, that we came up with at the beginning are like the 
the result of the of the world. So beavers um, felt like you know natural choice for a species that does well in the uh, in the rainy environment. Mm -hmm. you know, they like water, and, and and so they will sh so they should feel you know at home in in this setting. And on the other spec, on the other end of the spectrum, would be lizards, who are not doing great in, in cold environments. And in between, there would be humans, who are some kind of a benchmark, like between one one and another. And then we also added harpies, which are more like herons. Uh, if you look at their design, they are more like, you know. Uh, herons, they have um, their hoods are shaped like beaks, mm -hmm. and and so they also kind of felt like an, an a species that would do well, especially you know if there's if there are so some floods, they have long legs. So, so. Um, but what's interesting, uh, we let the community choose uh, the fourth species because at the beginning oh. there were only three. Yeah, yeah. At the beginning there were only three. And then we wanted to add the fourth one, but we decided to ask the community which one they'd prefer. And so, and so we made a voting and introduced two ideas. One was uh, harpies, and the other one was um, what was it? <laughs> Some kind of uh, oh, oh my god, I, I forgot, I forgot. But but there it's was okay. a choice. Okay, I, I love it that you introduced oh, no. the the community to decide and form and leave the fingerprints on and they'll give you give you input back it's i always like it when uh, developers are going back to the community like hey what would you like to to have here in this place and then uh it makes you know it makes the player feel kind of united and part of the whole gaming development process and uh that's a cool way interesting yeah. that they, they, they choose the the harpy um, yeah, I, I remember now. The the other one were Numbats, and they were Numbats. like more uh, muscular and using more rain punk technology. So a very different vibe. Uh, players preferred harpies, but we hope to do another voting in the future um, to, to make players choose once again what they'd prefer to have in the game. Because Talking we of also... muscles and and in the future, sorry to cut you off there. Talking of muscles and in future, do we gonna see some sort of I don't know combat going on? Will there be systems where you like build little little soldiers to defend against whatever the the bad big forest throws against you? Yeah, so we were thinking about it a lot in the past, and I think we decided not to not to go with combat. Mm -hmm. um, we have a lot of monsters in the game, and we probably will add more monsters. But uh, as you already played the game, you know that you don't really fight those monsters. You try to tame them or uh, provide them with goods and hope they will leave, leave your, uh, your settlement. So um, we thought about like doing things differently, uh, perhaps a new watchtower building or something like that in mm -hmm. which you, you would uh, assign villagers who who then become warriors but we, we we don't feel like really we don't feel there's a place right now in the game for the, such a mechanic i i think we all in the team agree that there there are probably other areas in which we could add new interesting content this is obviously um, something that we keep in the back of our minds but from the very beginning uh, we didn't plan any combat and there's, there's also like one um, pillar of uh, against the storm's design uh, and it's that you don't control uh, specific units you don't need to bother about specific units so when you enter the building in against the storm you can assign the other but they are taken uh, you know, by the system, the system decides which mm -hmm. one will fit the job the, the best. Like um, each each villager has has their own name and stuff, but you never never bother with uh, you know so it's specific more into units. Globally planning instead of micromanaging all yeah. little it bits so, next. So there's there's no place in the game for like clicking, dragging to select 
uh, units that would you know be war or, or something like that um but yeah this is one of the ideas um what's interesting is that earlier in the development we received more um, requests for combat than now but i okay. think that uh once the game evolved and players were able to play it they also figured out that maybe maybe it's not as necessary uh, maybe there's uh, there are different areas in which the game uh, could be you know developed further. I agree with that. I agree with that. As, as soon as you get the vibe and uh, play around with the mechanics and uh, all these different roguelike elements that are happening, the procedural generated maps and uh, like rebuilding your old little outpost over and over and over again, um, you don't even feel the necessity. You don't. There's like, don't feel the lack of, uh, why don't I can't build a, ca uh, a barracks and recruit their soldiers and go to war like in any other strategy game. And uh, I actually enjoy that this uh, is going another direction and you just try to survive in a sense because that's what you kind of do because the whole rain <laughs> situation is not very doing good on, on uh, the population. Yeah, and, it's a very uh, hostile environment with the never ending rain, the hostile forest which you know um every year gets more and more oppressive with all the monsters you can find around your settlement yeah it's definitely a hostile environment and there is also one new thing the blight rot i don't know if you if you've encountered it already but workshop buildings can also grow blight cysts and if and at some point during the storm those blight cysts they open and start to corrupt your your half, um, which uh, you know if, if it reaches a certain threshold, um, the half will you know will be hurt and attack its own villagers. So there's there's a lot of um, maybe not combat but um, stuff going on challenges in the game. Always uh, ye yell at chat when that happens. Uh, Hans holds a flammenwerfer. Because they're standing there with their little yeah, uh, flamethrowers <laughs> burning down uh, the corruption. It's uh, super cutesy. True. And also one new thing, we added ghosts to the Cursed Royal Woodlands. So we can uh, encounter uh, ghosts of, preview of vill villagers who tried to settle those uh, lands in the past. Are the or, villages or, no, procedurally generated or...? or or are they villages that failed from players? Uh, no, 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 no. They are uh, procedurally generated. Okay. I mean, there's a there's a number of of ghosts of uh, encounters you can you can have, and they are they are drawn randomly. Mm, yeah. In terms of um, me as a Twitch streamer, I'm always curious. In terms of of like viewer entertainment, have you ever thought to make a Twitch integration where chat can uh, manipulate your play or or the play game automatically clicks the chatters in chat and assigns them automatically on your villagers that you have and you see their their name running around and have a laugh when they are getting eaten by the evil forest yeah so um don't quote me on this but i think it's almost like confirmed that this feature will be in the game uh, perhaps not on the steam early access release um but in the more distant future more or less distant future uh we know we would like to have twitch integration with um at least some basic things like you mentioned so that so that i don't know villagers have names from uh, of people from the chat um or or players can influence your decisions vote for that because there's a lot of picks in the game you pick perks and buildings all the time so i guess mm -hmm. it would be super helpful if people could uh, help you choose or it would be funny if they Force made the choice choose. for you <laughs> exactly <laughs> yeah oh that is so evil oh they definitely will do the bad thing because that's what the chat yeah, normally does that's what we hope <laughs> would happen <laughs> so yeah uh, this is this is something we would like to have in the game but as i'm no programmer myself i don't know what technical obstacles we can encounter so i can't tell 
for for sure that it will be implemented, but I think it will be. Uh, Michal, who's our programmer, is also very excited about this feature and he wants to have it in the game. And so two, two people who, who are most excited about it want to make it. So yeah, uh, keep great. your fingers crossed. I'll have it. I have them both crossed even. So um, going further, I'm always curious uh, when I talk to developers and uh, this is a quite complex question. Uh, actually, semi-complex because the first part is quite easy probably to answer is uh, what is your favorite part of the game from the perspective of a developer and also from the spec perspective of a player like what do you enjoy most about against the storm what what you've created or maybe what you've played or a certain mechanic let's go with okay. that and then i'll then i'll ask the, the the difficult question oh no yeah so keep in mind that i'm only doing marketing and community so there's i think there's not a single line of code maybe just a few uh that i written um but for me one of the in most interesting things and i didn't realize i perceive it this way is that sometimes this game against the storm feels like in certain scenarios it feels like a puzzle game because Okay. You get certain things, you get certain resources, you find re new resources on glades, you get buildings, you find buildings, you have a limited number of yeah, goods and buildings, and you need to figure out how you want to achieve your goal, what would be your next steps. It's some it really sometimes you need to pause the game, take your time to to consider what are you going to do next. What will ha help you reach your um, desired outcome? Mm -hmm. And th th this is the part which I like the most. <laughs> and this is funny because if you pause the game and almost nothing happens, there is a music playing in the background. There are some uh, animations happening, but the game is paused. And for me, this is the most exciting part when you when you get to think, uh, consider, you you know, uh, take risks because mm -hmm. many times it involves risk. Okay, maybe if I take this building, next time I get to choose, I will get a one that complements it. And, or maybe you want to make more, um, you, you know, safe call and mm -hmm. go for the building that will not be as useful, but at least uh, it will give you something. Um, so for people listening, probably this might sound abstract, but the game the, the game has a demo and it's available. And if you play it for a while, I think you'll understand what I what I mean. So this is the most interesting part for me. And obviously there's also the visual part. And the game looks looks really, really good. And it's I'm right now I'm only, you know, uh, complimenting my uh, colleague from the team, Damian, the game uh, graphic designer. Um, he made a, such a great job uh, doing all the hand-painted textures, all the art in the game, UI. UI was reiterated UI like seven or eight times. This is a running joke in the company that we need to change UI at least once a month. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I think it looks really, really good. And I, being marketing person, I don't play as regular players. I mean, I usually start uh, the normal way, uh, but then at some point I see the city and I'm like, oh wow, it would be great to have it on screenshot or on, on the trailer. So I stop the game, you know, and stop playing the regular way. And I, I look a lot at, at the buildings, at the, uh, all the all those uh, detailed hand painted texture textures. There's yeah. a lot Some of details in it. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's lovely. That's lovely. Now that what I want to uh, ask you uh, as the last question, with all the knowledge that you guys have created, with all the assets that you have uh, worked upon and have now in your in your hands. Where will the future will go from here? Do we gonna get an Against the Storm 2 once you finished Against the Storm 1? Do you plan to uh, work on that MMO dream? Um, what can we expect from Aramite Games? So certainly a lot of work on Against the Storm 1. We are releasing on Steam and GOG. 
um, probably in October or November, there are a lot of external factors that we need to consider and hooded horse is there to help us. So yeah, it, it, it's way easier for me. Um, then at least a couple months of early access. We love to work with the community. Uh, we have public backboards. We have public feature request tools so people can come and suggest their ideas, vote on other ideas. Um, we have we have public roadmap, which we need to... Um, we, it needs some updating, but we like to keep uh, things transparent with the community. And we love to receive feedback. Mm, I think the many of the most exciting features or the most useful features we have in the game currently were inspired by players um, who played the game and figured, okay, if you add this little quality of life feature, uh, it will make things way different. And, and this is true in many cases. Uh, the feedback we get from players uh, usually works uh, great. And those are the most interesting uh, features that we add, uh, or at least most useful. So a lot of uh, talking, working with the community for for several months. Then, I don't know. I think the, the game has potential to have DLCs with new species. Um, I mean, we're for now we don't we don't really you know don't, we don't have any specific plans because we're we're releasing in early access. We we want to make. A lot of free updates we want players to to help us um, with balance and so for now honestly there are no specific plans for for things like dlcs but 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 if there if if people would want us to add such things in the future then then yeah why not but in more distant future i think everyone at eremite games would love to make this rpg game i don't know mm -hmm. if it will happen before against the storm 2 if we will ever get against the storm 2 but we like the rain punk world we we like this setting and so we'd like to make more games in this setting certainly so maybe it will be another city builder or strategy game maybe it will be an rpg we'll see but one thing is certain at some point in time, we will make an RPG game. <laughs> yeah. I have my fingers crossed for that as well. Um, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm always curious to see where the, uh, if there's some future thoughts already, um, far future thoughts, because as you said, Against the Storm is now releasing on early access. Uh, you said October, November, and uh, everybody can check out the demo. Links is in chat and also in the description down below when you see the video later on and uh go check it out go give it a swing let us know what you what you think about it as you heard lukas they're working highly with you guys uh getting their the feedback in and working on it and from my side i've played already 50 hours in it something like that um you can feel you can feel the love i don't know i'm an uh sometimes an old school gamer and uh the games in the 90s they were just built with passion and love and uh against the storm feels like uh i mean graphically not like a 90s game but it feels like a passion project and uh i'm super happy that uh i had you here on board lukash and i'm super happy to show now chad uh some against the storm do you have any last words that you want to shout out and scream into the camera <laughs> well um obviously thank you everyone for watching and um i hope you'll give the demo a try um, I was talking a lot about, you know, abstract things and I think it works best and we learned that it works best if we just let players play. There is no trailer, there is no description that can depict the game better than, than, than the actual game. So the demo is out there for you. Um, let us know what you think, let us know what you'd like to see in the game and hopefully uh, stick around and help us uh, develop this game together in the community-driven early access. Amazing. Lukas, thank you kindly. You also messaged me that you have a present for the viewers. We're gonna uh, give you, give to 
Uh, yep, to fans of the genre and of the game, access to the game. Just uh, chat with us along, and we're gonna. Uh, I'm gonna pick later on uh, two lucky, two lucky people. Lukash, thank you kindly. You said that your time is of the essence. You're you're busy after, so we're gonna dive yeah, into the game. Unfortunately, unfortunately, I have to go. So thanks, thank you very much for having me, and you know, have fun. Thank you kindly. Have a wonderful time. Bye bye. Bye bye. So, dear friends of strategy games, dear Vikings, what do you think of this so far? I'm excited to show you. We had it on the show already once or twice, I think. And uh, it's such a vibe. It is such a vibe. The steampunk looks. It looks a, li a little bit for me like... A better version, better graphical version of uh, the Warcraft 3 games. I mean, it doesn't play like Warcraft 3, but... First, when I when I saw the forest over here, I was like, oh, looks like Warcraft. And uh, as they said, UI and designs and everything. So smooth, so sexy, so on point. Uh, let me just quickly check here. In the meantime, if you are interested in the game and you want to give it a swing, let me know. Over there on Steam, over here on Twitch, just uh, write any chat. Only the only thing is, the fellas over there who are watching over from from Twitch uh, from Steam, hello there. I have to hop over and uh, hop into the Discord, and uh, so we can you know get in touch so I can send you over the code. Good. With no further ado, let us hop into it. Oh, look at the beaver. Is that a lizard? Tutorial town. We have that already on wishlist. Well, I've, I've noted it in my brain that you're interested in Dragon Lady. You love the graphics. Man, it looks looks good. So this is the, the randomly generated map uh, where you can expand uh, these four towns, five towns I've made already. And I would like to work towards the next question mark. So I'm going to go over here into the Royal Woodlands. And I can choose here who to bring with me. Also ready in the wish list. Wow. Um, since we're going into the woodlands, I I guess there will be difficulty pioneer, no additional modifiers, veteran, blight rod on corruption. Let's let's play on veteran. Blight rod and corruption. <laughs> I'm probably gonna die so terribly. So the all woodlands. Are once part of the Smoldering City. Smoldering City is the little middle part that you can upgrade after each run. We have uh, four points that we can use for embarkments, so we can grab all these resources on the bonus. As a reward, I get plus 140 experience, and I get 40, 54 food stock pods that I can use to upgrade the Queen's Smoldering City. Uh, 14 reputations require to win this biome. 14 impatient points will lead to failure in this biome. Whew. Oh yeah, because the queen is getting impatient the longer we take with our our construction. Uh, there's a lot of trees. Severity of punishments. Oof. The old woodlands are very lush and rich in timber. Trees give more wood. So grabbing the beavers might be the good choice here. Then I get the group of new villagers along to these aids. Good. Let's embark. Do you want to start a game? There are still points to be spent. Yes, but I have nothing to grab, so let's go. Drizzle in the common season. Additional effects. Okay. So we have the looming darkness. 
active from hostility zero. Then later on, we get the rotting wood. Woodcutter trees 50% faster. So when the storm is happening, and we're cutting trees, we're destroying them. Then there's acid rain. Oh my goodness, there is a lot of bad things happening. Levitron, this game is cooled against the storm. Maybe I should put the title down below, in the middle or somewhere. Yeah, I'll think about that. For the overlay. So... Good. Good. This is our centerpiece. This is new. I love this turtle. Look at that. Also, look at the beavers! Amazing beard. They're female beavers, even. And we have some lizards. Okay, so the random uh, random people that we got are lizards. They all have their bony and melee, so they're all doing good thing, uh, things good and things bad. And there are these hidden paths that you can unravel. If you unravel one of these, there might be something dangerous within that will affect your settlement. So you want to be very careful about that. We have over here this big patch and this big patch. I think we're going to work towards that. So what we have here is we can pick some buildings. I could go for a farm. Could go for a plantation. I could go for beaver houses. Since we have a lot of beavers, a beaver house sounds reasonable. Let's grab that. Let's grab that for now. We're going to wait with the rest. Exactly. We have beaver houses, but they need timber to be built. And timber is uh, in further on production from woodcutting camps. So what we want to go is go crazy here on the woodcutting camp. One, two. Good. Then we want something for food. Uh, not the harvester. The scavenger. Scavenger camp is working on roots. Roots, roots, bloody roots. Um, and we're gonna place him over here. Beautiful. Then we're gonna pick a path. So their working direction is a little bit faster. And then we want some shelters. And that is just perfect for fitting in some shelters. One, two, three. Uh, one shelter fits how many? Three places. So there's a three, six, nine. And we are a total of ten people. So one more shelter. And we should be fine. Beautiful. Then we want the roads to go further with the path. There we go. Over here, we want one, two spaces free. Like that. Perfect. Okay. Also, the middle part can be upgraded. So what it wants us to have had at least eight villages to be housed and have at least four green decorations. Then the hub is getting an upgrade that gives you boning that we want to do. So we're going to go to the decorations and he wants four green decorations so what i could do is grab for example some barrels and uh, put them here behind so one two three four that should be enough and hit enter oh it's smoking out of the mouth how cool is this oh look at them go they're starting to work so, cut only mark trees, avoid opening glades. Oh, that's also new, the setting with the avoid opening glades. So, we have here space for three bivars and another three. Perfect. And you guys should cut down these here. So, cut only marked trees, both of you. So we're opening these two glades and see what kind of resources we get. Over here, uh, 
Give me one of the lizards. And one of you. The other one can go and build. So food production is going. Wood production is going. Then we can speed it up. So we're a little bit in, in time here. So we need to reach our reputation to the fullest before the queen's impatience is hitting us. Oh, we also have here from the queen uh, something to pick. An artifact infused with the power of the holy flame. Hostility from woodcutters is decreased by eight. All fuel recipes are 25% faster. Gain one villager for each discovered blade. Let's grab the flame emblem. Consumption control. I can tell them what to consume and what not. Very interesting. And then we have the orders, where we have to randomly pick something that we think we can manage. Solve, an, solve any glade events. We get three new villagers, we get stone, and we get infused tools. The tools look this interesting as well. The fear looks interesting as well. Then we have one blade, we get four new villagers, we get some parts, and we get a pack of meats. The tools are very in handy to open boxes, we found any. But uh, let's grab this one, since we're opening a glade in a bit. And we want to do this, because if we manage to make them happening, we get one reputation point. This game is called Against the Storm. So, booming economy. Sell a goods worth at least 15 amber. So, trader. We're using trade routes. Uh, cut through two glades. Rebuild or salvage ruins. That sounds doable. We got a box of symbol tools, some roads, and steel pickaxes. That increases my production on stones. That's actually super good. Let's grab that. And the last one. Interesting game indeed. It's it's super good, super complex. Uh, build and stone cutter camp. Make two bricks. That's pretty simple. Pack of building materials. Make five of them. What is that giving me? That gives me plus one in plank production, and this gives me tools. And tools is pretty pretty neat to open up stuff. Let's go on this and uh, try to have a look at how we can start the production for building materials. So, crude workstation makes planks, fabrics, and bricks. Makeshift posts makes packs of building materials. There we go. And then we have a ring collector. I see. So, production lane will be over here. I'm gonna build that. And we're gonna build. This is a makeshift production. And we're gonna build the crude producer. Let's see, from here, do we have anything that we want to grab? There is the herb garden. Can root and herbs from nearby farm fields. Hmm. But we don't have any farm fields. So, no interest there yet. And it's, it, it looks cozy at the beginning. And the music is quite cozy and such and such. But I tell you, it is not. Hey, there we go. What do we have here? A small encampment. I could grab a human and a lizard if I do that. Or ascend it to the citadel and get 10 amber for that. It wants goods from us. Eight goods. Uh, I got some meat. And some eggs. Let's bring them some eggs. And I do have only one beaver who I could assign to this. There's also some shrooms over here of some sort. Wait, I'm cut. Oh my goodness. I just noticed I'm cutting in here to a, a dangerous glade. A danger boy. So. 
small encampment and two mushroom things. Do I have a thing that collects shrooms, eggs and roots, plant fiber and reeds? I do not have a shroom collector. I do not have a shroom collector. Can produce pigments and barrels. Cooking house. Skewer biscuits and pigments. Or the herb garden. Ah, oh, man. None of them I like, to be honest. None of them I like. So let's cut that over there. Then we can move out with these two. Let's speed this up a little bit. Food so far is looking good ish. Um, uh, what a stone cutter's camp. We have no stone. Nearby. So that's not necessary. Hmm. Actually, let me bring up the tank stuff here in the corner. We can do that. So everybody can see right away what game this is. Let's call this against the storm. Let's give this an outline. In black. Eight. Beautiful. Probably hard to read, but actually we can put it up here. There we go. Let's give it also a a background. There we go. Get the storm, dear friends. It's the game that you're asking for. Put it down the title on the screen as well. So. I want to send here someone to bring in eight eggs and to get more people or to get amber. Oh man, I don't know. Do we want amber or do we want more people? Let's go with amber. Let's go investigate. Then uh, blight post, hydrant storage, small hearth, trading post. That's the one I'm looking for. Let me grab one of you and move you over here. Cut me down this path. So you can see what's in there. Then we have one over here. Let's move you over here. And uh, cut towards there. Forget about that. Now they're bringing food to the camp, and we should get 10 ember once this time is up. Beautiful. Can there be monsters in the fog? There can be all kinds of crazy things in the fog. You're welcome, Gumbi Black Dragon. Thank you, Lightbulb Crew, for helping out on that. I always forget it on, on Steam side. It's sometimes weird to find out the game title. On over here on Twitch side where we where we live streaming, it's it's easy because it's you know right away showing down there. So, so we have houses for everybody. They are building on that beautiful. Uh, actually, there's no building happening at the moment, and I think we do have enough. 
We do have enough wood. 166. Holy moly. Let's kick one out from here. Let's kick one out from here. And let's have them build stuff. Okay. Let's have the artisan. Because of coats and pigments and barrels. So. He makes coats out of fabric. He makes pigments out of coal. Copper bars. He makes barrels. I have no access to copper bars. That is completely meh. Uh, the provisioner. He takes food and makes provision packs. Flour for grain and then again copper for barrels. But I have no access to, to copper. Then the skewer grabs two foods and makes some sort of food. Uh, makes biscuit out of flour. And makes pigments out of coal. Have uh, no such thing. So the provisioner sounds the one that I could use most. Or uh, the one with the codes. But then again, I have no farm. So let's go with the provisioner. And uh, see if we can create some pack of provisions. In order to, well, sell a few things. So, what do we have now? We have the carpenter. Oh, hell yes. We want the carpenter. We want the carpenter. That complements our wood cutting perfectly here. So with one glade event done, that gives us four new members. We've got one human and three lizards. That means more workforce. That means I can bring back my beavers to work here. Beautiful. And now... A lumber mill can produce planks and goods if I have the bronze. I mean, a lumber mill would not make necessarily use, but a guild house, a place where villagers can fulfill needs, luxury, passive effects, guild house. The guild house needs wine. Now that the guild has a presence in your settlement, merchants are eager to present their wares. Traders will arrive 50% quicker. That is actually not bad. Let's bring the guild house in. What? Oh my goodness, this is a huge machonka. But look at look at how cool it is built into trees and beaver heads. Yeah. Rain is coming. Everybody is still potent and happy. That's okay. I mean, it's raining nonstop, but the storm is coming. And I, I'm homeless with a few people. Let's have another shelter. We have over here... I don't want to use planks. I would like to make fabrics. So we can bring in an... And down. Good. Makeshift posts. Pack of crops, pack of provisions, pack of building materials. Do you want to do that? I don't know. Incense, wine, training gear, scrolls, ale. But they do planks over here. Never mind. I need some planks. And uh, this should have the highest priority. Five planks over here. There we go. 
In two minutes comes the next trader. Put that closer to the tree. There we go. Beautiful. Let's speed it up a little bit. We have a new place. We have broccoli and flax fields. Broccoli. Do we have something that can... I have something that can grab the flags, but I have nothing that can grab the broccoli. The image. Okay, so we need a card with uh, broccoli. New day, new orders. Um, since we're axing on trader, we're gonna go over here and grab the five amber and have three people instead of four. And what are we getting from the Queen? Exploration training, rigorous training makes scouts exceptionally efficient. Every five villages with the need for brawling fulfilled increase the chance of bringing back double the amount of goods from events by 20%. Ooh. Mysterious Amber Orb with a magical flame trapped in it. Gain plus 50 to ancient half resistance for every impatient point you have. Rotting ground. Strange roots spread across the land. Wood production is increased by one, but harvesting and planting are 20% slower. 25% slower. Uh, I might grab the queen's gift. Perfect. Hmm. Now, what to do? What to do? Give me a quick second. For a second that our, our steam guests are gone but they're still there beautiful boom, boom, boom. if you want to check out our schedule for today you can type an exclamation mark schedule in the twitch chat sadly not uh on on steam talking of twitch chat and whatnot probably should also bring uh information to the screen one quick second built so we are looking for ruins and pack of building materials we want to do building materials and over here we're making planks this is the highest priority to be built luxury goods building materials out of timber so we would not want anything of this but we want to build that next I could build another Woodcrafter. Another woodcutting camp. Let's make that happen. We need to find food. Or a different source of food. Because I can not access broccoli. So this might be a problem. This might be a problem. Let's uh, make a path in this direction. Let's work on the stone cutter. What are we getting over here? Clay deposit. Chance for clay and chance for roots and chance for stone. Interesting. 
Let's fill it up with two, two cutters. Then we want a path up here. Path over here. Okay. 12 seconds until we can trade a little bit. I have uh, 15 amber. Let's see what I can buy for that. So. There we go. Sea marrow deposit and broccoli again. The sea marrow can be used to burn in the hearth over here when it's getting dark and, and rainy. Uh, that is if I have the billing for that. <laughs> That's a mine provisioner. This is a pack of provisions. Carpenter. That is the carpenter, right? They're working on it. So once the carpenter is gone, I can stop the plank production over here. That's super expensive. Because over here, the plank production costs me 8 wood per plank. And the carpenter costs me only 5 wood per plank. So that's a big, big gun. Beautiful. Carpenter is up and ready, and we're gonna plant in some beavers here. Uh, let's grab one away from there. Let's grab one away from there. Beaver one, beaver two. Do we even have such a thing? Okay. You can uh, stop working on planks and uh, start working on fabrics woodcutter camp is empty and let's move him up here and new day emerges we have something new to pick what does it want pickled goods beaver houses the one of the pickle goods sounds bad oh man i did not grab the artisan maybe i can buy the pickled goods and therefore get the beaver clan support let's do that and over here we want ale Luxury goods. That could be probably doable. I'm getting amber and bronze and for people. Yeah. Yeah, it sounds like a plan. Crude workstation. So let's also make some beaver houses. Since we have so many beavers. Bloody beaver houses. This one wants now four green decorations and four blue one. So we have the barrels over here, right? One, two, three, four. And then they want me to have some lamps. Oh, we have some fields over here. Did they have the fields from the beginning and did not notice? Totally possible. So that's one lamp. Second lamp. Third lamp. Fourth lamp. Oh no, the lamp needs to be within. Move it. Let's move it over here. Game reminds me of Timberborn. Oh, because of the beavers and, and the wood orientated. What's going on right now? I don't need two people over here. Oh, I'll get I'll get what I mean. Wait, the stone 
thing works on these here. I see. So stone cutter. Gimme then. Gimme, gimme. The guild house is in the works. The traders on the oh, shit. There was a trader here. I missed him. I have missed him. There's only bad stuff happening. Let's move him over here. Boom. Perfect. And you're cutting only trees that are marked. And I'm gonna mark you all these trees. Okay. Beautiful. So, no fabric clothing making. That up there is nearly built. Hmm. Of one work over there, not too many. Oh man, storm is coming up again. Okay, my food production is going low, and that is super bad. We might, we might die actually. We might actually die. Move over here. Only what I told you. Only what I told you. Cut them all down. Let's go. Multiply times two. Stone cutter canvas, nothing nearby. the building oh the impatience points are, are rising the impatience point are super duper rising and also the food is going down I'm not happy about that survived so far let's see we can get three beavers and we get insects and berries or we can get let's get the three beavers let's get the three beavers So, let's go to dead. Oh, there's the other one. Beautiful. Beautiful. Them little man go. I would love a, a, a camera view to follow one of them and be as zoomed in as possible. Oh, totally forgot about the gift. In 30% meat every time a villager dies or leaves. <laughs> uh, clay devil per minute. That sounds good. 
Okay. Let's see here. Need a blight post. 100%. Scavengers have near nothing nearby. Oh, we found some more clay. Oh shit. Hmm, we need food. I mean I have broccoli, but I can't. So cannot move it anywhere that it will do me any good so goodbye I do have farm fields that I can lay upon but I have no farm unlocked schmackafoli might have broken our own axe with that Might have broken our own neck with that. Let's put him in. What's the other thing doing? The code of custom for each amber that goes through the guild, a small part of this goes to the local inn. Each time you sell goods with worth of 60 amber. 60 amber! Who would sell that much? 1 minute 50. The heart is getting there. Uh, let's give you another one. Who's helping you work on... Actually, no, it's over here. Another one is work, helping you work on uh, the planks. Okay. Beautiful. They're cutting through over there. Dude, the music is so cozy. Look at how good the guild house looks. The little beaver statues. Okay, let's speed it up. I found some... Shells over there. Damn it. I've I've overseen that we have farmland over here and we would have had a solid food production by now. Ruins. We need still to make small building materials. And to build more beaver house and pickles. Oh, whatever are you gonna make them? I have no clue. Open cages. Sell goods worth at least 45 amber. That sounds good. That sounds good. Let's pick that. Lost in knowledge. Ancient tablets. They can be found in dangerous or forbidden lanes. Or have at least one hub upgrade to neighborhood. Let's do that. Let's do that. Zork has arrived. The trader. Very nice. We have 15 amber. And he is selling. Traders will arrive quicker. Uh, ale. Plus one ale production. He's selling ale. Hmm. Does he have anything that I... That we need for our... Missions? Building materials. And what do I need for building materials? I have uh, not built it yet, apparently. What do I need for building materials? 
Did I not build a house? There we go. Building materials. I just need planks. And let's go. Tata Futsa. You're working hard on uh, making planks. So, what do we find? What do we find? More. More clay. Oh, are you kidding me? So, food is not so good. Thirty food against eleven amber. Good. Bread and food. There we go. Hub has been built. Get another cart. Herb garden trapper camp. Small farm, weaver. Ah, uh, the herb garden would give us non-stop food. You know what? Let's do that. Let's do it. But I want you to create only roots to work on, on the food. Okay. Take all down these trees. Good. Speed it up. So we have now the blight fighters give me two in here they make purging fire so with the f purging fire i can start to make a rain collector a peaceful music on kim how you doing yeah it is peaceful yet <laughs> it will change very soon uh plantations months don't work i hope there's more planting fields hidden beneath this tree line so let's also work on a pathing path pathing over here over there Okay. And we're just faster than me. Oh, I need somebody to collect this. Okay. I need three more beaver houses. One, two. Three. Woodcut camps nearby have nothing to do. Oh, let's move him. Good. Let's work in over here. Does it resolve a low? That's bad. That's because they have no house. And there's plants popping up. Clemson Hearth. There we go. Hot! Hold the Flammenwerfer! Boom.
Beautiful. Harvest protected. We've burned all, all the plants down. Pack of building materials. I need three more. Beaver houses. Beautiful. Back of a building with your hands. Back of luxury goods. Okay, there's no way, other way that I can do this. Let's speed it up. So, new day, new opportunities. What do we have here? Pottery, grain, some amber, leather, herbs. Uh, let's give me... Give me two more Umans. Okay. Boom. Then we want to move you. Where do we move you? And we cut the trees to the big bad guy. We need to push here a little bit. Beautiful. A little windage going on. Still overburning at the hearth. Damn it. Too far from the hearth. Human's home. Can I resemble you? There we go. Okay. Packing building materials, they're very good, very good. Should be this building. Let's drop it. In one part for every time you sell goods worth than 24. The is the impatient point you have. Yeah, I'll grab that. So, don't want that here anymore. That one is producing highly. Good. Good deal. Very good. Roots are, roots are popping. Trader has arrived. Sahilda. So, Sahilda, what do you got? Uh, better question is, what do I need from you? Hmm. Maybe just amber. Ten amber. For... Some trading goods. <sighs> amber is expensive. Eight amber, six amber, five, four, four amber for six trading pallets. Fair enough. Let's 
So, speed it up because I'm curious what happens here. In the big bad glades. Because we need a ruin. Five bit. Oh, man. Let's keep working on that. We're low on food. Yeah, I know. Super low on food. Oh. What do we have there? Fallen beaver trader. A group of fallen beaver traders. They were probably assaulted by fishmen or worse. This side creates anxiety by the beavers. Let's send some umis and get some food. Seeing fallen kinsmen has its toll on the villagers. Minus 10 on beaver resolve. Then I could get the artisan. Or the material. Also berries. Yeah, berries not our thing apparently. Or was it? No. There are eggs over here. Oh, another task. What do you want this time? Solve any four dangerous glades in the Forbidden West. Sounds good. Let's make it happen. Food is bad. Very bad. Yeah. I think we're gonna die of uh, attrition. Resolve is low. Uh, let's throw some of these in. The wooden. A little bit more wood. No. Hmm. Cannot fill it up. So, let's see what, what will happen here. Probably my population will slowly wither away because we are not able to sustain them with food. At least you get to see the roguelike elements, what's gonna happen. What's up? Cutter's camp is empty. I want to move him. And over here is stone. Good. Okay. Speed up to four. Oh. I always forget about grabbing these. Uh-huh. Let's grab you. 
Gain one ancient tablet for every two glade events solved. Letter. Gain additional letter every yield from gathering. Scouts learn how to be very careful when looting abandoned cages. Every open cage is lowest hostility by minus 50. Sounds good. Simple tools, trendy. Okay. So we cannot do that yet. Ooh, what do we have here? A totem of denial. Fishmen hate fire and will do anything in their power to extinguish the fire. Ha! Huh. Grab people. Although it's fish people in this case. So, we're gonna have a quick pee break. Uh, I shall be right back. In the meantime, enjoy the lovely tunes of the game. Title is in the chat. Also, if you wanna check out the schedule. It's over here. And uh, see you in a bit.
And we're back. Anna Joyce. Ah, with a good bunch of coffee. So, where were we? We were about to uh, brutally die. Oh, he's idle because I don't have any tools to work upon. Yeah, throw him out. So, over here. Hmm. Ring resin. Planks. Let's bring 20 planks. And let's be ASAP. Bring them over. Bring them over. We have the beaver houses. Pack of luxury goods cannot be done. Um. Tapo. Ekiro. Ekiro. Let's work on that. Um. Also, food is going back up, so that's good. That means we want another uh herb farm over here. Boom. Uh, we want this field here Brrrp. taken over. Perfect. And we want a path. So they are moving a little bit faster. We're still looking very bad with the food. When do we get the next trader? In one minute. They are grabbing the axe. They're working on it. The forest is on level 3 on uh, hostility. Uh, let's hope we can deal with the fishmen over here before it's getting too bad. Same goes for here with the path. A lip off. Move it up here. We have a lot of flax. We have a lot of shrooms. Um, is it the harvester? It's the harvester. Let's build the harvester build. We're not gonna make it in time to please the lady. Uh, a robot produced in herbs garden, herbalist camp, greenhouses. Just work on herbs. Common good. Isn't eaten raw, but can be proceeded. Yeah, I don't. I don't have anything to do then. So we're okay. Oh, we can work on fabric later on. Trader and left. There we go. Do you have food, my friend? You do not have food, but you do have tools. And with tools, I can open boxes. And box open boxes might come in handy. So let's open the boxes. Simple tools. Uh, let's see. I throw in out 10 amber. Okay. And how many tools can I buy? Four. That's not a lot. That is not a lot. If I want more, if I want 10, how much, I don't know, planks would I need to throw in? Oh my god. So let's throw all these planks in. Uh, let's throw some wood in. 20 wood. Oh my god. I'm not throwing any wood in. Uh, resin. Eh, eh, eh. There we go. Sheesh. That's expensive, man. I can... I could even attack him. But that would just anger the queen even further. Um... You guys come blanked. Scouts are idle. Fuck. Let's give them uh, resin. And... Uh, 
Let's investigate. I need 12 tools for this. I need 12. Oh man, and I have only 10. Can I somehow grab two more? One, two. I need two more, my friend. Give me two more. Spark dew. 40 spark dew. Um, bricks. Take a look at my wares. You won't find any better quality. Why is he so into bricks? Seven bricks. Uh, trade. Good. Packing buildings is done. Um, I could salvage this. Required goods. Let's salvage this. Investigate. Take it apart. Um, okay. We got a new card. Plantation. That grabs it from farms, berries, and plant fibers. That sounds good. We want a plantation. Smelter sounds also good. <laughs> Make freaking biscuits in the smelter. <laughs> uh, let's go from the plantation. And uh, that means I could... Destroy you. I tried to remove. Herb Garden is actually will refund me to... Yeah. And I want a plantation over here. Boom. Good sold. 45. So if I sell just one other thing to him... Um, I don't know. I don't know. Um, um, um... So what do we want for one amber? Two of these. Four of these. Trade. Done. Booming economy. Oh, but that gives me three more people. And we are... Oh, man. We're already low on food. Yeah, let's, let's do it then. Let's do it. Get another card. Trapper. Or the kiln for coal. And I could sell the coal. And with coal I could make color. Let's go for a kiln. Okay. Let's have a kiln. You can go. Somehow I need pickled woods. Goods. Whatsoever. Furza. I can keep the goods. Or I get reputation. I need reputation. We're we're in a race here for reputation. Although I have no food. <sighs> I'm gonna figure it out somehow. There we go. Priority. Build that. Make that happen. Bonus added re retroactively. If I would be able to sell that much, that would be good. Starvation reputation sounds dubious. <laughs> That's you, Anya. How you doing? Welcome in. So they are happy to work in the kiln because the kiln is uh, 
creating warmth and the lizard like it warm. Um, yeah, they can work on whatever they want. That's okay. Uh, where do I have lizards at? Let's switch out. Give me a lizard. Any other, any other place? Switch out. Give me a lizard. They're happy. Did they know it? Dude, I have no... I just re recognized I have no shelters. I have no shelters. One. Two. One more beaver house for you. Three. Four. We are dancing on the floor. Um, service building. Yeah. Not so much. Bank of building materials. You can get out of here. I don't necessarily need building materials now anymore. Do there's anything else? Pack of crops. No. Woodcutters camp nearby has no trees to cut. Um, let's bring him over here. Come on, build that. We need food. We need food. Two farmers in here. Don't plant plant fiber, just berries. Oh man, it's bad. Yeah, there's enough enough explosives. Settle down. They're working on that. Anything where I can put a lace of mine, we did not. The eggs are being grabbed upon. Okay, they're crafting some good fabrics over there. out I have no clue where over here let's make it happen path Yeah. I know we're low on food. What shall I do? I'm working on it. We need to plant faster. What are they, uh, why are they idling? Can produce berries. I'm confused. Low on fuel as well. How oh, damn? Oh, Macarena. That is not good. has no trees nearby. Cut down whatever you need. Cut down whatever you need.
Where's the other one going to Ruins are built and salvaged. There we go. Boom. And we get some more resources. I do not have... I do have 22 resources. What? Didn't I tell them to open something up? Or did they get even more resources from them? Hmm. So I will get ill from this machinery. Packed goods, food and bronze. Packed up luxury goods. Burn them! Oh, pick the last ones. I have a total of 20 lizards. F10. And... Uh, trading goods. Discover a glade gives you plus three global resolve. Pack of crops and pack of building materials. Pack of crops and pack of building materials. Let's get it started. So let's switch it out. Come on. Let's go. No fishing on this map, at least. It's a kind of a roguelike element. You get these buildings that you can grab. A trapper. Yes, I want a trapper. Let's grab a trapper. Because we have a lot of meat. To grab. Okay. Oh, the result of the lizards is slow. That's not good. Throw in some coal. Throw in some coal. Throw in some shelter. Oh, very good. It is over. I need lizards. They come with a little bit of food over here. So I'm gonna grab these. What he wants. Gain parts every time you sell goods. The people feel oddly rebellious. Gain plus one global result for every two impatient bonus. Hmm. A shitty character appears in your settlement. You can choose one blueprint from all unlocked blueprints. Smuggler wizard. Let's have three samples. Okay, we're working. Uh, this looks uh, pretty bad. If that is the case. Boom. There we go. Pack of building materials, pack of crumbs. Okay, we're working on that. We're working on that. There we go, dear lizards. <coughs> what do you sell? We sell food. Okay. 
give us food. Forty, and I give you twenty embers. Bam, bam. Actually, give me, give me berries. There we go. Sixty berries. Let me give you one more of these. And we shall trade. Okay. Fix the food problem. Now we need to fix the... The... Wood problem. Close for map edge, but no fishing. <laughs> Natha, you don't. We'll come in. Uh, I mean, there is some water over here. Some flooding is happening. Who knows? Maybe there are. There is a uh, fishing in. I've uh, not even unlocked all of the materials that you can unlock or buildings that you can unlock. Scavenger camp has nothing nearby. Uh, roots, bloody roots, over there. Let's go. Pack of building materials. Eleven out of twenty-five. Let's keep going. How's the burial materials going up? Still down. We need uh, more wood choppers then. And uh, problem is, I have no material. It looks like. It looks like I got no material to have those choppy chops. Anything else I can grab now? Only fabric. Boom. Give a food, give a food. Send them. Send them out with SOS. Uh, we want them up here. Work on it. Work on it. So, oh, the kiln is also burning stuff. That's why I'm getting so uh, such a hard time on the wood part. And again, we're low on fuel. We've unlocked small deposit of roots and food and fertile land. Yeah. It's amazing. It's amazing. Wedgie, how you doing? Welcome in. I hope you had a wonderful rest. I had a wonderful time with you and uh, Pepper, the Black Pepper crew. Video is already uploaded. Just need to uh, make a description and uh, give it a proper title and tags and such and such and such. Do I want to have another farm? I probably want to have another farm and work on. Uh, Fibris. Especially since we have this food problem going on. Building out an SOS. Uh, let's mark this place over here. And uh, cut only marked trees. Let's work on that. Let's work on that. I have 24. The Hank? Are you sure? Oh, resolve is down. Solve is super down. Um, well done. Send this to the Citadel. One, two. Investigate. Then we need... Shit. I have a little bit of coal. Let's do that. Oh no! The heart is protected by the holy flame. Good. But I still think that we're gonna die of hunger. 
I've not paid attention of this grass patch over here that we've created into a farmland at the beginning of the game. And I did not choose to unlock the farmland building. So I think that we're going to have a problem. I think that we're going to have a big, big problem. Oh, very good. They're destroying. Um, give me a moment here. Put in a put in a human. Let's grab another firefighter. Uh, put in two humans here, and you guys gonna make also food. Since we're having an issue with food, uh, you guys gonna move in here and uh, chop down all of this. Let's focus on Choppy Chomp. The wood is on level 3. I've been angry. Uh, I don't think we're gonna make the reputation race here. Pickled goods. Why, why did I pick them? Because of, who the hell are you? Minced stuff. Do we have pickles? My friend. Do you want some pickles? Uh, we don't want to build more back building materials, okay? Some wine. Some wine would be fine, but uh, no can do. No can do. I need eight more lizards. I'm getting another three over here and a bunch of shrooms and stone. Freaking hell. And what does the queen give me? Minus 40 to her study for every hub upgraded. We managed to enlist some excellent hunters. Meat production is increased by plus one every 25 times it's produced. Let's go for meat specialization. I love the rogue element of this part. We have this all these decisions making going on. What in the names is this here? It looks like it portal into the abyss. Open vault. An open entrance to an ancient dungeon. Strange sounds can be heard. Small miasma cloud. A thick spreading cloud of miasma that kills every living being in the radius of 20 fields. What? If it's triggers. Okay, so if we do not fix it. So I just send people in there. I feel so. I'm. I'm so sorry, Mr. Beaver. Go in there, and I'm getting coal, ancient artifacts, scout pack, or Queen's Grace. I need. I need Queen's Grace. I need to work on that. I need to work on that. I work in here, and uh, over here I can grab another twelve and work on. The reputation. Investigate. Okay, what else we got here? Fertile soil, large abandoned cage, open walls. Large abandoned cage. Oof. And a lot of broccoli. Why can I not collect the broccoli? Trappers only meat, eggs and roots. Yeah, I cannot collect the broccoli. Oh man. If you just join in here, this game is called Ancient Storm. If you are watching with us on Twitch, you can tap and chat exclamation mark title to have a look at the Steam page. You can have a look at our schedule by tap and exclamation mark schedule without the C because I I I do not do English. I am bad at English. Okay. Why are they still doing packing materials? Scavenger camp has no things to grab. There we go. Let's grab some roots. Go on food. And now the resolve goes down. No! Fuck. 
freak. I have no food. And the food production goes even lower and lower. Oh, come on. Give me a call. So, what do we get here? A small farm. Mm, let's grab the smelter. Just in case we have uh, a chance of uh, finding a mine. even burnt through my coal. Oh, yo, yo. There we go. Everybody happy. Pack of crumbs. That's what we need to do. A beer scavenger left. Trapper camp has nothing nearby. How about coming here? Splenty nearby. Splenty. Um, could work on this farm field as well and on these farm fields as well. We can build a road in between here. Yeah, sounds good. Everybody has a home. Yes, everybody has a home. There's no one in here doing things. Oh, yeah, man, this costs also wood. You're kidding me. Oh, wait, what? With clay and resin, I can make crystallized dew. Oh, my goodness. Let's do it. Uh, I don't have flour. Nor... I mean, I have some copper, but... The wood production is already low as fuck. So... Good. Good, good, good. One more dangerous event to solve. Oh, this will be very close if we manage to, to make our reputation happening here. Oh, man. Super close. I need one more dangerous glades. One more Dangaris Glade. There we go. Chop through. Choppy choppy through, please. Okay. Grabbing all this here. Looks like there might be a farm hidden here. Or is it only just two fields? Working on pack of crops, pack of luxury goods. Okay, we're burning everything down. A beaver is left. Oh, for fuck's sake. That's not enough. That might hold it off a little bit, but I don't think all too long. Yeah, that was it. Our camp cannot do anything nearby. There we go. Shit. No one fuel. I know. I know. I'm working on it. I try. 
Everybody wants some wood. Deny this cold and full of terrors. Dude, low on food. Everything goes to shit. I would not like to want to live there. Uh, let's not make curing fire for a while. Let's see if that helps. So, uh, don't need two people there packing goods. Where is it? It's this one. Three the beaver. Okay, we survived another night. It's a lot of farmland over here. So berries. I don't wanna be berries. Pet cemetery. Okay. Making that field over here. What do we have here? Anything bad happening? There is this pump that will go big boom. That will go big bada boom. Uh Required goods. Shit, I don't have that. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Oh, this will go boom. Oh, and it would be so good. Oh, actually, no. With bricks. With bricks, never mind. False alarm. Send the people over there and give me reputation. Oh, man. The queen will be so angry. Queen will be so angry. Pickled goods, 30. And they want us. Okay. One, two, three. Want to salvage the building. 12. I do not have 12 tools. Oh, yeah. Totally forgot about that. Uh, even more people. Yay. Yeah. At least uh, bring some food with you. Oh, man. We're two lizards away. Training grounds. The settlers specialize in training gear production. I do not have that. Just the right amount of villagers with leisure needed. We'll have a 10% chance for double. I don't have that either. The Royal Academy wants detailed map of the region and will supply anyone willing to help gain and... 20 reed and 20 clay for every discovery gained. Well, it sounds not bad. That would be a good card to have drawn early on. For uncovering all the mates. Sheesh, there's a lot of... There is a lot of... Okay. They're making the berries. I wonder how the berries work. Do they? Okay, there they go. They're full now. So that means they will be planted, uh, collected. And I think on this here, there is only one really needed. You're collecting wood during the storm season. You have a modifier that destroys all wood collecting during that season when hostility is level 2 or higher. Exactly, Matt. That is also coming apart. Um, this is also coming towards the whole thing. Oh, I was afraid that this will go boom. Fuming machine. Good. Good, good, good. We got some money out of it. When is the next trader coming? In three minutes. Cut in your body has nothing to do. How about a move for you? A 
I'm over you over there. So far we dealt okay with the people. Uh, we have homeless people though. So... Beaver houses. Also, I should put up a limit on house production, on material production. Totally forgot about that. Totally forgot about that. Uh, consumption? No, that's not consumption. Recipes. All crafting no grading goods fuel building materials oh yeah building materials production limit should be on a hundred bricks on a hundred that on a hundred you can go crazy out of mines with some crystallized do wait with crystallized do can we not start building tools Is that not a thing? That's why I don't have any sparky, sparky stuff. Makes totally sense now. There we go. We can make tools. Yay! We can freaking make tools. Let's work on tools. Okay. Wood production is going up ish. Four dangerous glade events. Boom. Funding an outpost. Boom. Oh, oh, oh. We're pushing it. We're pushing it. We might be able to, to actually make this happen. A place where villagers can fulfill needs, religion, leisures, passive activity, activity, the green brew. Or I could have a weaver and make fabric better. Now let's have a mon monastery. Let's build a monastery. Um, over here, somewhere, let's put it over here, good, and we have also the chance to build an artisan, mm, yeah, not so really, not so really, is that even in word, let's give me another one of these fellas. Oh, I'm sorry. That was little Thor getting agitated. I need two more lizards for another thing here. Some pickled goods. Oh, yeah. I should tell them they're not allowed to eat the pickled goods. No pickled goods for nobody. No, no, no. No one is allowed to eat the pickled goods. Damn it. I didn't thought of that. So, we have over there 12. Uh, we have somewhere big box. There we go. We would get shit, a shitload of things. Let's send that to the Citadel. To the Citadel. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite thing on the Citadel. Melt the mystery is, is on the hold. Let's have only two in here. Uh, another copper bar. And uh, let's go ham on the wood, wood chopping. Pretty please. And uh, let's go ham on... Uh, I'm not really sure I want to bring in another trapper. Oh my goodness. It's just standing empty for ages. Apparently. How dare we? How dare we? Thunderbolts of lightning! Very, very frightening! Me, Galileo. Galileo Figaro. Um, stone cutter. Yes. Want a stone cutter? Beautiful. Ooh, pizza time. What, what kind of pizza do we have? Nav, are you an 
I would. I nearly said native. Are you an a, an expert on this game? Also, somebody has no shelter, and that is bad. Oh my gods! I'm not sure we're gonna survive this night, though. We're gonna lose people. We're gonna lose people. Oh, this doesn't even help. Do this. Party. Bacon, sausage, and... Mm, delicious. We played the game and watching streams of it for a few weeks now. Mm, that's not math. Welcome to the fam. Welcome to the north. More broccoli and even more farmland. Oh, man. I should have... I should have grabbed that task of farmland. I need a chopper up here. I need place. That is still creating me fabric. That is creating a pack of crops that I don't need anymore. Stop using food. Oh, this is bad. This is this super bad. Minus 14? What? Oh, no. Stone cutter camp has no deposit. Over here. Oh, there we go. Traders here. Uh, what do I can sell you? What do I want to sell you, though? I would like some wine. What's 10 wine? And I give you some purging fire. Is that a deal? And I could grab some stuff from here. Pigment, pigment production. All recipes with metal are better. Glades are examined more carefully. Gain pottery for each discovered glade. Mm. That sounds fancy. Nine of these things. <coughs> uh, yeah, let's read that. Beautiful. Beautiful. And a new day has arrived. I need lizards as many as possible. Uh, well, we're gonna grab this because this gives me food and some parts so I can build. Gain 30 meat for every time a villager dies or leaves. Cannibalism. Bah. Yeah. I'm gonna pick cannibalism because there will be a lot of people who will leave. Hello. Um, man, this is so close. This is so close. Pack of luxury goods. 
wine, incense, scrolls, all kinds of things. Uh, incense. Let me see. Let me let me do some calculations here. Or actually, if I attack, what happens? What happens if I attack the traitor? Do I get his his things? I wonder. Gentle vapor seems to soothe the wilderness. Hostility is discreet by 100. Same service building effects do not stack. from each I wonder what happens what if I attack him chance to bring something. I could grab place of religious can fulfill the needs. Brawling, religion, temple, lizard house. A lizard house. Do they not care for the exit on their houses? So, one luxury good is four, and it produces two. And I need ten luxury goods. So I need to do this five times. Five times four is twenty. So I need twenty incense. Okay. Wildfire essence. I'll give you one of those. Uh, I'll give you some material goods. Give you some pack props. All of it. So, uh huh. Do, 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 do. Let's grab some wine. 23 wine trade good 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 now what we can do this need is fulfilled in the guild house most beavers long for comfort in the citadel Oh, because it's outside of range. No, I built the build house outside of the range. Well, we've no, we know for next time. We know for the next time. There we go. Nobody is homeless any longer. We need one more lizard. One more bloody lizard. Uh, chest of coal. Yeah, let's grab the chest of coal because the next path will be probably very disgusting. Yeah, keep working on the coals. Keep working on those. Don't really need that anymore. And we need wood. A lot of it. 
Okay. A lot of it. Let's bring that over here. So... There we go. Let's speed is up. We might win the race. In the reputation. We might. Traffic camp has no deposit nearby. Uh, there is meat over there. There's eggs over there. Let's uh, grab the meat. Let's push. Okay. How are we doing on food? We're still doing not so good. There, holy crap. There's a lot of field around her that I have not noticed. Go grab that. Eggs have been collected. Luxury packs have been created. Very good. We don't need any more. Send it out. Lizard majority. Yeah, yeah. Done. We need we just need a half a point. Half a point. Is there any box still that we've not opened? No, there's not. Uh, got only marked trees. Let's open this up then. We nearly got it. Just one more object or a box or something. Oh, and there's something evil happening. Because there's a storm upon us. Boom. Storm is hitting like a brick. Minus 14. Three times the fire. That would, oh, that will not last long. I don't think this will last long. So, over here we're getting a lot of incense and pottery, or we can convert them. Gives a global resolve bonus. Yeah, we can bring them resin. Salvage. Heavy clouds are gathering. Storm durations increased by 100%, but drizzle. Oh, gods. Oh, that is if it hits. Okay. Oh, this is bad. Pull a few woodcutters, and you could get us to lead down to one. Pull a few woodcutters in. <coughs> what do you mean by taking it to not woodcut anymore? Pull a few woodcutters. And you could get hostility down to 100. Not really sure what you mean, Nath, with uh, pull a few woodcutters. Do you mean to bring them in inside the heart's range?
Remove them from their job during the storm. Okay. Oh, I see what's happening here. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, good tip there. Thank you. Send it to the citadel. And I think I don't I don't care about this here, because we're done after that. And just to make it 100 percent that we're done after that, we're gonna investigate that box as well. And we're gonna build a path uh towards them. To make it even faster. And we should have completed this area. By then. Oh, pickles. Okay, actually, we can do it over the pickles. I need... 6... 26. 26 pickles. Uh, here, I have... 9 embers. Trade. Bring vegetables. You bring grain. Let's accept you. Settlement specializes in wine production. Gain plus one beaver resolve for every 71 produced. Scouts learn how to be very careful in looting abandoned cages. Every open cage lowers hostility by 50%. Nice. Let's go ham on, on the chopping again. Seven minutes on that. We will win this. What oh, didn't I? There we go. There we go. That was close. That was really, really close. And we've unlocked new settled upgrades, artisan press mon monastery, a new merchant exploration expedition, and frequent caravans. Wow. Back to the world map. So again, I'll show you quickly the world map and the... Okay, we've reached a full cycle. So that whole, all of this will reset, if I'm not mistaken. So if I go to the smoldering city, I have uh, deeds that I have unlocked. Where I'm getting experience for that. Nice, we're level 6. Collect 10 points of reputation for the villagers. Win a game with difficulty veteran or higher. A pipe ending. Oh, finally we have pipe endings, not only the pipes itself. That will give me another... Uh, nearly, nearly another level up. Buy upgrades. So... Monastery of the Vigilant Flame. You gain permanent plus two to burning durations of all types of fuel, burning the hearts. Oh, that's good. That's actually super good. But I don't have artifacts. I need to find artifacts right now. I have 69 bread. First dawn headquarters. Again, permanent plus 1% chance for bonus production yields. And I get vegetables and meat as a production bonus. Essential buildings. Human house. All the resource nodes get one permanent available charge. Oh, that is freaking... Oh, we have that already. My bad. My bad. What do we have here? You gain a permanent minus 2% on the speed at which the queen's impatience grow. Oh, yes, please. She's very impatient. 
get a permanent plus three bonus to trade a rival speed. Yeah, it's okay with the rival speed of the trader. Let's grab this here. To bark with meat and vegetables. Bug bonuses you choose before starting a settlement have 20% more resources even. Oh, that's beautiful. How far does this go up? Holy moly. Okay. Wow. Wow. Let's have a look here. And the cycle. Gathered, spent, left, unlocked. And a new cycle begins. Everything gets consumed except of the smoldering city in the middle. And now everything is reshuffled and I can decide which direction I want to go next. That is so cool. I like this rogue element. Well, I hope you enjoyed your stay as well. This was for you against the storm.